Hi guys, this is Dan. Welcome to another mod showcase. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the desert part of the Legendary Mobs mod, and this place looks like a wreck. I mean, look at this area. I'm actually on top of a palm tree right now. That's like really funny. But I decided to pick an oasis for the um showcase, and oh my god, that's so sad. There's like a baby just in a tree over here. Oh my god, that's so sad. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna be looking at the desert part, so definitely press the like button for this video. If you have a YouTube account, I know a lot of people in my family don't, because I'm actually I'm doing this video in honor of my um grandma because she lives in the desert. Hi, Emma. Oh yeah, and then this is not well. This is what my character. Well, I mean, this is the normal character for everyone else, like Steve, you know, everyone, but. Well, I know. I have my own skin. It's like a really cool bird. I tried to do a practice video with my cool bird skin in it, but it didn't work. Like, you know, like my char my normal character, whenever I have Wi-Fi, has is like a cool bird. So, enough blabbering. Let's get on with the showcase. So, the first one's Krusk. I love these ones. These are actually my favorite part of the mod. Large sandy snakes with thick stone skin that hide within self ground and squirm out to strike. Smaller baby crusts can be tamed, however, they take a very long time to grow, but make excellent protective pets. And they can drop clay, sandstone, iron, flint, or gold. They can drop gold. And, of course, you, you're going to need these treats. And don't worry, guys. I'm, I have the um, horse armor in a different chest. So, look at these things. Oh, my God. You're so, you're, they're huge. Wait, let me try to make a baby. Oh, God. I'm dead. Oh my god, there's like a crypt zombie in the water, and I can't move, am I in quicksand? Yeah, it kind of actually looks like I'm in quicksand. Okay, be my friend. Oh my god. Why do you want so much? No, help me. Get the crypt zombie. I'm like dying. Oh my god. I'm like dying of the crypt zombie. Well, I mean, they do have 30 health. That's quite a bit. Ah! Really, dude. There we go. So, can you see Krusk's. Krusk? Did he just die? Oh no, he's over here. Alright, I'm gonna just sit him down. Oh god, I just heard an Enderman. Okay, so don't worry, buddy. We'll get you some armor later. Let's go on to the joust next. This one's the one with the food. Fierce desert animals. They can be farmed in well kept screen. They're usually peaceful, but will bite back if hit. Watch out for alphas. And then for the alpha, larger jousts and leaders, they will attack other alphas on sight and will also command all non-alphas. They're very hostile and they look a lot cooler. And you, of course, they can be bred with kept screen, so we're going to grab that. And then they can drop raw joust meat, looks chewing and smells like feet. Yeah. And then, it's like spicy peri-peri chicken. My mom really does not know what that is. And then amber cake. I bet it would taste really good. So, I'm like starving to death, so let's eat this. Okay, I'm like starving. Okay, so it's like joust meat, three bars, and then it gives you swiftness. Look at how fast I'm going. Okay, yeah, this is actually extremely fast. Oh, yeah. So yeah, you can go extremely fast with this thing. And let's eat the amber cake too. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the crafting recipes for everything. Um Okay, so the crushed treats are just a bunch of cooked joss meat and two bones, and then the amber cake is cooked joss meat and then like cactus green and sugar. Oh yeah, and then of course cactus green is like from smelting or I mean like cooking cactus. No idea why, why the joust would want to eat that. I don't worry, I'll get you out of the tree later. Okay, so this amber cake, really yummy, and it gives you speed for a whole minute instead of 10 seconds. Super useful, and then you can see there. Let's make let's make a baby to the guy up in the tree. Okay, breed. Wait, did I feed you? There we go, another breeding. Oh my god, the baby's head's huge. Okay. 
And then I'm so sorry, but I'm just like, uh, oh god, I'm in quicksand. I hate this part of the Biomes of Plenty. I hate this part of Biomes of Plenty mod. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate when I get stuck in quicksand like that. Okay, slash game mode zero. I'm gonna try to keep it away from those guys because I don't want them. I want. I don't want to have to fight them. So this is what they look like. They are huge and they are red and they're like red with anger. And these little cactus things actually like, damage you. And ow! Alright, so I kind of just want to show you how how the um, so you can see that autumn. Wait, wait. Wait, why, why aren't you helping your leader? For some reason, he wasn't helping his leader, but usually they go after you when their alpha does. Let me try it again. Okay, that's so weird. They're, like, not helping their leader. D die! You're, you are so mean because you're not helping your leader. Okay, so, you can see we got tons of raw just me, and then, of course, this gives you bonus... I can't believe I ate something that smells like feet. <laughs> okay, let's go over something else. Oh my god, I'm so slow. Let's go over and what, what's over in this chest. Oh yeah, air repeat next. Strange rock creatures that fire mud shots from their mouth with cause of weakness effect can be tamed and make excellent. Stop screaming! Or whatever that thing is. Stop sc screaming! Stop screaming in my ear, okay? Oh my god, that is so loud. I hate that. Okay, let's continue. They, f they fire mud shots from their mouths which cause a weakness effect, can be tamed and make excellent travel mounts. They move very fast, I'm saying, and they can carry a lot if you give them a chest and have a pro projectile attack, but that doesn't actually really work because I don't really know how to, um, I'm just gonna say it right now, I actually don't really know that much about, um, uh, that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's just get all these ARP treats. They can drop a lot of stuff. They can drop gold, just like the crusts, iron, flint, mudshot charges, and then, which is useful for mudshot scepter. Okay, so let's see what this guy looks like. You can see they look extremely weird. What are we gonna get? You can see this fire mudshot. We got iron and flint that time. All right, let's tame this next one. Be my friend. You want more? I I don't. I think this is the last one. Okay, there. Now you love me. Okay, so wait, dude, du dude, get back here. Okay, so I can put a saddle on him, and then I can ride you. I bet this looks really cool. Yeah, it looks extremely cool, and they go extremely fast. Let me show you how fast they go on normal ground. Look at this. You can see they go a lot slower. And then let's give you armor, dude. All right, let's diamond looks really cool. Iron, and then gold. Let's leave you with gold. You look really good with gold. And then let's check out the Krusk. Let's give some of the Krusk, too. Ooh, diamond looks really good. And then iron. Let's give you diamond. There we go. I still... Wait, why do I have gold and ore in my inventory? That's weird. Oh, yeah, and then time to show you the crafting recipes. I repeat, treats are actually made out of gold. Why are they so expensive? Bones in, like, seven gold. That's really expensive. And then... For the, um, Scepter, where, where is it? Um, Mudshot, it's just one of the charges, which is pretty cheap. Let's use this on it. Let's, let's use it on this Joust Alpha over here. Oh, God. You see, it goes ra crazy rapid fire, and oh, no. What am I doing? Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. This is a very good demonstration of leadership. Of good leadership. I almost ran into the cactus. Oh, my God. I need to get on my Aeropede. Where is he? Aeropede. Save me. Save me. Yeah, you can't catch me now. Oh, my God. I'm so low in health. I'm going to have to eat run flesh. Ew. I hate doing that. Am I still hungry? Oh, sorry, bro. I mean, sorry, bro. How am I gonna get past them? Should I just... Oh, God. I'm gonna die. 
Like a million times, okay. Oh, Arapede. What are you doing? Oh my god, they're attacking my Arapede. Stop it. Oh my god. Pump party. What? What a stench. Oh my god, that is so loud. What the heck? Okay, that was freaking hilarious. What, what do I do now? Let's go back to Lady's death. Or, no, Oasis Tribe. Oh my god. Wait, you're- Okay, they just killed my Arapede. Okay, I'm gonna need my buddy. Follow me. I don't have a sword. I need to grab a sword. Slash game mode. One. Okay, I need to really grab a sword. Let's grab a diamond sword this time instead of iron. Oh great, it's the it's these dudes from that event, that poop party thing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, slash game mode zero and then slash time set day so we can actually see see around. What what are they attacking now? Wait, wait Krusk? Krusky dude. Are you awake? D dude, are you dead? You're dead, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, you're dead. Okay, come on. Dude. Okay, my crust is extremely lazy. Okay, let's just sit. Okay, just sit. Is there anything in this chest? Nope, that's the crust. Gone. Okay, so Gorgamite next. Small rock beetles, fairly weak, but if given enough time, they'll call nearby friends from the ground. Before you know it, you'll be, you, it'll be swarmed, so kill them quickly. They are scared of manacores. And they can drop sandstone... Normal stone and flint. They look extremely creepy and they make like the weirdest noise. Look at them. Although they only have five health, so you can like kill them almost instantly. I'm gonna show you guys the ability. You see that? Like one one of them just spawned in right next to the other one. Oh my wow. Oh my god, my crusk is finally deciding to help. Fight my lazy crusk. Or no, I don't want him to die. Die. Okay, so that's it basically for Gorgamites. They don't really do anything else. What's in here? Oh, yeah. Crypt zombie. Mummified corpses that lurk in the desert. These act much like regular zombies will inflict a hunger effect and also don't burn in the sun. All they drop is rotten flesh, just like normal zombies. We fought them before. We fought these guys before. Okay, so the clink next. They can drop iron, throwing scythes, and then for the scythe scepter. Wicked metallic creatures that grow... Rapidly grow metallic blades on their arms. They like to fling at these of their enemy. These guys look extremely weird, but they do make the coolest noise. Look at them. Wait, I actually need to turn it up so you guys can actually hear the noise. You can see I didn't really get hit with it. Let's try that again. Wait, hit me, dude. You can see they throw the scythes at you and actually does quite a bit of damage. But then the scythe scepter. This thing's rad. It takes a while to charge up, but look at this. Ownage! You can't hit- you can't dodge this. Like, this is insane. Nothing can hit you with this. I'll actually just show you the crafting recipe. It's just a bunch of throwing types and then blaze rods. Okay. So, is the manacore next? Where's the manacore? It's in one of these. Here we go. They drop sandstone stone and flint just like most of everything else. Flying rock bats. They are vicious. And fast little creatures and their bites will weaken you and induce hunger. They love to hunt Gorgamites. They I love the noise from these guys too. Ow. Oh. You can see I have like hunger effect on me. So let's actually, let's go actually go into creative mode. And then watch this. They actually fight each other, which is so funny. Alright, so I'll show you all the, um, Rare mobs. Okay. So, which ones? Okay, Joust Alpha. Normal Joust. Um. Which ones are, am I missing? Um. Krusk. I'm for sure missing Krusk. Um. Is that it? Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, wait. Wait, I'm totally missing one of them. Which one am I missing? Gorgamite, um, oh, I'm missing Arapede, okay, time to show you all the rare versions, alright, rare Gorgamite first, 
Oh, looks like I actually died here. Okay, okay, Keppel Gorgonite. That, that Manicore is so dead. He needs back up. Okay, Scarlet Manicore, 80 health. Um, I'll show you the, the Jealous Alpha. Like that guy over there. Oh, wait. I actually want to show you the, um, well, no, there's like, sh oh my god. The Conobo over here is like totally <laughs> getting pricked. Okay. Oh, oh, Violet Jealous Alpha. There's also like a green version, but it's a lot rarer. Okay, Trip Zombie next. Oh my god, there's even babies. C come on, rare. Okay, we got a verdant one, which is like a green version. Alright, and then normal joust. We got two russet jousts that are both like brown. Alright, let's get a clink. Clink. Alright, golden clink and ashen clink. We've got both versions. Alright, crush connects. I've actually never seen a rare crush. Or no, I think I've actually seen like a golden crush. C come on. It's so hard to spawn these guys in. C come on. This area is like a bomb shelter. Crusk? Okay, let's just go on the airpeed. I know these ones are gonna be a lot easier. Is there a baby airpeed? I mean, yeah, yeah, I think there's a. Yeah, yeah, I just saw it. C c come on! Airpeed? Oh, there we got one. Ash and airpeed, and then let's try Crusk again. Golden Crusk, just like I said. This area is a war zone. Oh yeah, and guys, I also um, had forgotten to show you um, the rare Inferno mobs in my Inferno mob showcase. I, I mean, that showcase, so I'm just going to show you real quick. I just really need to show you. Okay, so let's just do this real quick. Okay, um, Cinder first. You actually saw in the showcase uh, that there, there was a Verdant one, I think. That you had probably seen, oh yeah, Verdant. Cinder, I think that, that was in the showcase. Let's show the rare Sophingus. Okay, right, they're like, alright. Oh, Golden Sophingus. I think there's also a Scarlet version. And then Afrit, I love these ones. Oh my god, we just got two Violet Afrits in this area. It's crazy. Okay, Lobbers. Scarlet Lobber. Oh my god, he has 320 health. And, okay, okay, okay. I need to get this guy out of the tree. Scarlet grab again. So we don't kill him. There we go. There you go, buddy. You're safe. Oh my god, you're stuck in quicksand. Where, where's my gravity gun? Like, as soon as I set you free, you got stuck in quicksand. You know, it's actually safer in the tree. Or no, I'll just give you a swim. Oh my god, you just grew up! Get him! I'll help you. Oh yeah, that was sick. Look, he's like all grown up now. Let's find you a mate. Wait, I need Cactus Green. Where's a good mate? Okay, there's one over here. The little baby just in the tree is gonna have his own little baby. Alright, this is adorable. And your mate's actually a lot bigger than you. Oh my god, your baby's almost as big as you. That's crazy. Oh my god, there's another rare lobber in here. There's a Zer lobber. What, what are you doing, dude? Oh, you were standing straight on a cactus. Okay, so that's basically it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope my grandma enjoyed it. See you.